Today we're going to look at a few of the reports that uh, resident managers will find very useful um, at their property. So let's go ahead and um, look at the different categories where reports can be found and use the drop down menu to select the uh, particular reports that are available uh, per those categories. So the first one I'm going to show you is the box score. Um, to run this report you would simply select your property and the date range and then click on view report. Now unfortunately because this is still the test um, version of Rent Manager 12, we're not going to be able to see anything that's actually uh, populated. So I've just pulled this up to show you um, where um, information's going to fall um, into, whether it's your call, email, text. So you can see prospect follow up, um, the different sources for those prospects, and um, the tally per week. So this is one of the reports that your supervisors can um, easily run. They don't need to wait for your WSR to see what kind of prospect communication uh, is going on at your property. They'll run this report. So it will definitely help you um, for determining whether or not you've entered in all of that information that um, you need to for your prospects, which you should be entering in, um, like I said, every day. So um, next, let's go ahead and take a look at the category of listings. And there's a lot of information in here. You can um, easily look up your tenant phone list. So I'm going to just quickly show you how um, easy it is to do this. Um, so your property, um, your run date, you have, you could select to do um, current, past, and future, but let's go ahead and just click on run report. Now, on this particular property, there hasn't been any phone numbers that are listed. And again, using Rent Manager 12 in the test phase, there's a lot of confidential information that they didn't bring over. So it doesn't look exactly, you know, the bells and whistles that you're looking for. But I can guarantee you when you have your phone numbers listed in there, um, it will display on here. So that makes a very convenient um, source for if you needed to contact um, residents right away and let them know about something maybe being shut off. Um, that would be one reason why you'd want to use that. Another thing that's pretty awesome um, is the birthday list. I know a lot of properties do uh, something special for the birthday, whether it's just hanging a little bag on the door. Um, but uh, again, because it's not, um, you can select, sorry, um, by month, obviously. Um, this is not going to show any birthdays at all, again, because it is confidential listing, um, confidential information. But um, it will definitely populate according to what's been entered in on the um, the people screen or the contact screen as it's known now in Rent Manager 12. Uh, next, let's look at the rent roll. Oh, let me close this. Uh, the rent roll uh, has a lot of different types of rent roll. You're accustomed to seeing, I believe, the rent roll analysis. So let's go ahead and I'm just using the very first property here because it's easy to do. Um, but you can see um, running these reports, it's very nice that it uh, explains exactly what, um, what each one of those selections are going to net. So let's go ahead and click on view report for this particular property. And then here's your rent roll analysis. So just like Rent Manager 11, they um, do have hyperlinks. You click on someone's name, it's going to take you right to that person. Uh, what's really great about this particular rent roll is it does show when the lease is going to end, when they moved in, what their last increase, um, when they had a last increase and what that increase amount is. So there's a lot of information here on this report that's available to you. And then uh, let's go to the next report. I'm going to go ahead and close these and um, go to the occupancy. The occupancy category has something um, that is really helpful, especially if you're a new manager on the property and you don't know when people moved in and moved out. Um, here's a report that you can run. Um, let's see, I haven't, I don't know if how that's going to, um, fairly new property, so 
be a little bit different here. Um, so you can choose your date range, and I think this is really cool, the different ways that you can um, uh, specify a time period. For instance, this year last, um, and then you can run a report like to today, so all the way from last year to today. Uh, the, uh, there's, again, other selections that will um, help you determine what it is that you're going to see. And then just click View Report. Now, just like all of the reports and that you run, you have the options at the top on uh, what you want to do, whether it's you send it by email or um, you can print it out. All of these different icons at the top um, have the tooltip bar to tell you exactly what um, what you can expect by selecting that particular icon. Uh, this is the Find button, which works super great in Rent Manager 12. Um, so this is your Move and Move Out list. And um, that's really good information when you're trying to find particularly a past tenant. Or just a quick access, gee, how long have they been in there? So um, let me close that one. Uh, the next one would be the um, Receivables. So why would you go into the receivables category? What would, you, what would you gain by this? Well, here you have your age receivables with notes. And again, if you, if you look at the bottom, this little, um, little pop-up little boxes at the very, um, very bottom, those tooltips give you a lot of information about what you can expect to see when you run this report. So this is your age receivable with notes. Right, you would select your property, make sure all the charges are included, your run report date, um, the categories to include. We all know that we uncheck everything and check this one. We only want to see this one. And we only want to see um, one of those notes. So uh, view report. Not sure if anything's going to populate here, um, but this is what your ARN report. And then, of course, you would email that to yourself. Uh, the other report under receivables that's um, really important for the manager is the delinquency report. So again, you're following that same format of, you know, selecting your property, the charges. And this is the report where we want to make sure that um, we keep those rent charges separate. Remember, we want to be able to see um, that dollar amount. Is it, um, is it rent or are there late fees or other items? So this is the delinquency report that you should be familiar with. And you can see just running the report is as easy as it is obviously in Rent Manager um, 11. So I'm not going to pull that report, but just wanted to make sure that you could see it's located in receivables. The payables category has a couple of reports that are super helpful when you're looking for um, the bills that have been paid. Um, when you run a bills paid report, um, what you'll see on that report, let me pull a property that's a little bit larger. Uh, so let's go to Ascent. When you do a bills paid report, and um, actually let's do it this way. This year last, we wanna see all vendors or possibly just the one vendor. We might be needing to see, um, maybe we're looking for uh, specific invoices for a specific vendor. And we'll talk more about that when we discuss uh, reconciling purchase orders. So, but for right now, let's go ahead and just click on view report so you can see how much information is um, entered in here. So um, here you have Able Rain Gutter. So we know that that is a vendor that works on the property. This is the invoice. So if you're looking for a particular invoice, list the bill, bill date, and the amount paid along with the check number. So as you can see, this is 42 pages of, um, of 
a report for a cent last year. Um, the thing that's really awesome about this report, particularly for a new manager, is that um, you can see what vendors are actually at, uh, have been at your property. Um, maybe you're needing to find out, you know, who is the vendor that's been um, uh, hauling away those large items or possibly what you need to find out is um, the utility company. So in this case it's Golden State Water Company and if I were to click on this invoice here it's going to open up the bill that was created and then I'm able to and unfortunately again I can't look at um, the attachments uh, because this is the test property but you'd be able to open up that attachment and get the information that you need to possibly turn on clean and show so um, this is the bills paid report is uh, one that I highly recommend uh, managers to become familiar with they'll really be able to use it for a lot of different reasons another uh, report that's in the payables is the uh, unit expense detail. So the unit expense detail is very beneficial um, so that you can see, let's do a cent again, um, this year last. Um, if you were looking, if you needed to see when was the, what was the, um, hmm, when, what, um, for expenses that happened in a unit. Like, um, I need to see when that carpet was replaced in unit number one or, you know, obviously unselect. You would, uh, you could drill down per unit. And then let's just view report. This might give you a little bit of information here. Okay, so in unit number one, um, we could see that we had LA Hydro was in that unit multiple times. Um, so if you're having to look for information regarding um, pest control in a unit, that happens a lot when we have um, evictions. So you would find information um, like that. You would find information for um, carpet replacement, um, different plumbing um, issues. But again, what it's listing is uh, it's per unit. So that's, you know, it's going to come back with information according to what you enter in. So you can see Sanchez painting um, did here. Sanchez painting in unit 1E. When did he come over and do the turnover painting? Um, that's the information there. So um, again, it's just a really beneficial report to be able to see who did what, when, where, and how uh, per those units. So getting information like that will help with your SDDWs and for, um, for your evictions. Um, next uh, and last is the custom reports category. So this is where you'll find your weekly summary report along with any other custom reports that we would generate. So that's it for today. Um, please explore, understand what uh, kind of information is available to you and have a great day.